Growing up, there were both times of lack and times of plenty. Uh, there were times where if we wanted milk or fruit or rent, we'd have to pray it down. And we were able to see the Lord provide time and time again. There were also times of bounty where we could visit a nice restaurant or go on vacation and have some extra things. But the same God who provided the rent was also the same God that provided in the times of bounty. Last week I saw this truth when I was reading my devotions in the book of Joshua. It says in Joshua chapter 5 verses 11 to 12, And they did eat of the old corn of the land on the morrow after the Passover, and the manna ceased on the morrow after they had eaten of the old corn of the land. Neither had the children of Israel manna any more, but they did eat of the fruit of the land of Canaan that year. For years, the children of Israel had depended on the Lord for their every single meal. In fact, at night, they had to trust the Lord for manna even the next morning, in the morning, for lunchtime, and so on. But here, they've entered the land of plenty. God stopped the manna because the land was so bountiful and they could go and gather and eat at their own pleasure. The very next verse, Joshua chapter 5, verses 13 through 15, the Lord Jesus shows up as the captain of the Lord's host. I believe that, among other reasons, he simply wanted to show Joshua that he was still the captain, still the Lord, still the provider in the wilderness where they lacked, as well as in the promised land where there was bounty. I'm encouraged with this thought this morning. Here it is, that wherever we are, wherever we will be tomorrow, the Lord is still the captain, still the provider, and he's still able. Whether in a wilderness where we must trust him for every meal, or whether in the land of plenty where we have more than enough. Understanding this, especially during this time, let's look to the Lord, let's trust him, and let's lean on him. He's very much able to take care of his own in times of plenty or in times of want. He's very much able to give us wisdom for the hour, provisions for today, and grace for the future as we go forward for him, in our church, our families, and as individuals. I'm thankful that the Lord is my shepherd, he's my provider, and he's my captain. God bless.